Welcome to our video on designing the push button sensors for the inductive touch and magnetic dial reference design. In this brief video, we will step through the design of the inductive sensors used in the design's push buttons. If you would like comprehensive information about the reference design, please visit the reference design's landing page on ti.com. An image of the reference design housing is shown just to the right. The design supports eight membrane push buttons based on two LDC-3114s, which are four-channel inductance-to-digital converters. The dashed red box on the image shows the position of one of the push buttons. The reference design also provides a dial selector based on a single TMAG-5273, which is a three-axis linear Hall effect sensor. We won't cover the dial design in this video, but it will be the subject of a future video, so please stay tuned. We will focus on a step-by-step -step design example for the 8mm inductive sense coils used by the push buttons. The sense coils are found on the reference design PC board, which is shown in the green image. The position of one of the coil sensors is shown by the red box. We will design the sense coils using the inductive sensing design calculator tool, which is available for download from the URL shown on the slide. The tool is an Excel-based spreadsheet that supports designs for all of TI's inductive sensing products. The tool allows the user to easily create a sensing coil design, and for most devices it will also provide user feedback on device settings and some device behaviors. After you've downloaded and unzipped the tool files, open the file named in the slide's upper banner and go to the tab Spiral Inductor Designer. Let's transition from the slides to the tool. At the top of the worksheet, you should see the figures for an oval racetrack coil, a round spiral coil, and an example stack up of PC board layers. There is also an active link. Take a look at this blog post for additional information. Below the images is a table where the yellow cells are input fields for the tool and the orange cells are the tool's output fields which should not be modified or overwritten. The device for this design is the LDC-3114, so confirm that it is selected in the field named LDC device. As mentioned on the previous slide, the sense coils will have a diameter of 8 millimeters, so enter 8 in the field outer diameter of the inductor and confirm the units in the adjacent fields are millimeters. For this design, we will assume the coils have a trace width and spacing of 5 mils in thousandths of an inch, not millimeters. So this is entered in the corresponding field spacing between traces and width of trace. The number of turns per layer is set to 8, and the number of PC board layers is set equal to 2. Note that the trace width the number of traces result in a coil inner diameter slightly smaller than 4 millimeters, and this gives a coil fill ratio, which is defined as the inner diameter divided by the outer diameter, of approximately 50% as seen in the field, coil fill ratio. A coil fill ratio of 20% to 80% is generally recommended to maximize the Q factor of the design and this design is within that range, so we're fine. For most button designs, minimizing the fill ratio can result in additional sensitivity, but it requires small spacing between the coil and the target surface. With these entered values, the tool reports a total inductance with no target of 1.604 microhenries. A few lines down, we see the target distance default value is 5 millimeters. Also notice the Q factor value is 30.2 and the tool displays a message alerting us to the fact that this value is too high. The LDC3114 device data sheet reports a range for the Q factor from a minimum of 5 to a maximum of 30. In general, the tool will alert you if a coil design falls outside the device's recommended operating range. Next, we will enter the target distance and value of the resonant capacitor. We can find the target distance from figure 2-3 of the reference design user's guide is shown in the lower part of this slide. 
the figure shows the button surface is spaced one millimeter away from the PC board coil when the button is not pressed and that the metal target is 0.2 millimeters thick. The difference between the button height and thickness tells us the resting distance between the sense coil and the target is 0.8 millimeters, so we enter this value in the target distance field. This in turn causes the Q factor with target to decrease to 21.3, which is well within the recommended range. Note the sensor frequency with target interaction field has changed to 8.355 MHz while the inductor's self-resonant frequency is 62.8 MHz for this coil. The sensor frequency with capacitor should be less than or equal to 80% of the coil's self-resonant frequency, which puts the coil and cap combination at 50 MHz maximum. For push-button applications, higher resonant frequencies and Q factors are frequently better than lower frequencies, so we change the sensor capacitance to 220 picofarads. The sensor frequency with target interaction becomes 11.08 MHz, which is 30% higher than before, but still below the recommended 80% of the coil self-resonant frequency. The Q factor increases to 26, which is still less than the max recommended Q of 30 for the LDC-3114. That completes our design. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for your interest, your time, and your attention. For additional resources to help with inductive sensing designs, please visit the links embedded in the slides.